The Word of God encourages us not to be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Are you filled with doubts of what tomorrow will bring? Are you troubled and feeling hopeless about tomorrow? Receive God's word today of hope and assurance of a better tomorrow. You will be changed. Good evening viewers, welcome to tomorrow. Let us pray. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful because you are a good God. We are grateful because you love us. We are grateful because we are your children. We are grateful because your word is ours to believe and to see the manifestation of. And on this broadcast this evening again, reveal your mind unto us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome to tomorrow. Now, this evening we're sharing over what I've titled, Yours Can Be Different. Your own case, your own situation can be different. Listen, everybody might be subjected to the same conditions and still have different experiences. The conditions we all are subjected to is one thing. What we experience and go through in those conditions is another thing. Listen, for a child of God, our experiences should be different from what every other person is exposed to by way of conditions. Okay, let's see something uh, from the pages of scriptures. Exodus chapter 8 from verse 20 to 23. Do you know that when Israel was in captivity in Egypt, well, they didn't enter Egypt as captives. It was along the line they became captives in Egypt because a pharaoh that knew not Joseph became king. But have you, have you realized that there was um, a place where Israel was in Egypt called God? and then the rest of Egypt. Do you know when the plagues began, the 10 plagues began, do you know Goshen was spared? Even though everybody was in Egypt, it was not the same experience that everybody had. Listen, yours can be different. Let's read Exodus chapter 8 from verse 20. And the Lord said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh. Lo, he cometh from to the water and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Else, if thou wilt not let my people go, behold, I will send swarms of flies upon thee, and upon thy servants, and upon thy people, and into thy houses. And the houses of Egyptians shall be full of swarms of flies, and also the ground whereon they are. And I will sever in that day the land of Goshen, that is, I will separate the land of Goshen, in which my people dwell, that no swarms of flies shall be there, to the end that thou mayest know that I am the Lord in the midst of the earth. And I will put a division between my people and thy people. Tomorrow shall this sign be. It happened. So God said he will put a difference between his people and others. Are we God's people? Are you God's person? Are you God's child? Then know that your case is different. Your situation and your experiences will be different in the midst of a turmoil, in the midst of a confusion, in the midst of a stress that is out there. Expect something different. Amen. Exodus 9, 25 to 26. And the hail smote throughout all the land of Egypt. This was when the plague of hail uh, came up. All that was in the field, both man and beast. And the hail smote every herb of a field and break every tree of a field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, was there no hail. Do you see that? See, again, Goshen was spared. Where God's people were, was spared. That is because God's people are different. You know what makes us different? The covenant. The covenant. We are covenant children of a covenant keeping God. What do we mean by the covenant? A covenant is an agreement between two or more persons by which their courses of action are regulated. We are in an agreement with God, sealed with the blood of Jesus Christ, his son. You are a covenant child. And our God is a covenant keeper. God understands covenant and is bound by the times of covenant. You know what he said in Psalm 89 and 34? My covenant will I not break, neither will I alter that with my lips are spoken. God is in an agreement with his children and he will not break that agreement. He will look after you in famine. The Bible says that famine and destruction, we shall laugh. We have a covenant keeper. And the blood of Jesus is the blood of a covenant. Let's quickly read Hebrews 13 and 20. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of a sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. The blood of the everlasting covenant is the token, is the seal of our difference. Yours will be different. Believe God's word. Always leverage on the covenant and listen for his instructions, you will always know what to do. You will not be left without help. See you in church tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye. We believe you have been blessed. Join us at 9 a.m. tomorrow at Vine Brand Church, Queen School Road, at Batajiari, for a life-changing experience in our glorious worship service. We are confident that with Jesus, your tomorrow will be better than today. Come now with us, and we will do thee good. God bless you.